Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Subject C. I am a music producer, musical artist, but um, I'm also a photographer. That's another passion of mine. I, I really, really enjoy it, and uh, I work, I work as a photographer doing weddings and all that stuff. So, uh, I wanted um, I wanted to show you guys how to flip the image in a lens ball. Uh, so I bought one of these, and I saw in the comments on Facebook, people were a little disappointed that the image was flipped upside down. And yeah, as you can see, it, it you know you have the background. Uh, right side up and then you have the image of the ball upside down or vice versa you have the image in the ball right side up background upside down neither one is ideal I, it kind of works in some situations but in other situations you really want the effect of you know kind of seeing more in the ball than you can in the background so so I took this shot and uh, I wanted to show you guys how I do it so I've never really done a tutorial before so bear with me uh, I'm going to try to keep the ums and stutters to a minimum but uh you know the mic is running and the pressure is on so this is uh, this is my technique. Uh, everything that I've learned in Photoshop is just me messing around, trial and error, and uh, you know, just learning it by myself. So if you have a better way, that's uh, that's great. I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to see how you guys do it. But uh, this is how I do it, and I got some pretty good results. Uh, it depends on the image. Some are easier than others. Uh, I picked one that worked pretty well, but I'm gonna redo it for you right here. So so this is how I do it. So first you're going to want to make a new layer. Also, I should know I'm on Windows. So if I say Control and you're on a Mac, just use Command. All right, so new layer right here. Actually, you know what? First things first, let's turn the background into an editable layer. Boom, layer zero. OK, now new layer. Go to the elliptical tool. If you're on the square selection tool, then you can hold it down with your mouse. Select elliptical marquee tool. Boom. Now you can hold Alt and Shift, but it doesn't really matter. You can just you can hold Shift and kind of draw a circle. But I like to hold Alt and Shift so that you can kind of draw from the center. So that's going to drag it outwards. So just drag it roughly the size of the ball. It's, it's not a big deal. We're going to mess with it in a second. So let's, um, let's go to black here. Grab your paintbrush tool. Make sure your hardness is up or your size is big enough. Just, just make sure you fill in the entire circle here. So you're going to want to paint the circle. Paint it. All right. Boom. I click here. I just click that deselects it. Or you can do um, select. Deselect is, uh, what is it? I'm so used to hotkeys. Oh, there isn't a hotkey. You just got to hit that. So I just go to the marquee tool and click somewhere off of the image. All right. So now let's go to the opacity. We're going to turn the opacity down so you can see. Now I zoom in. I hold Alt and use my scroll wheel. You can use the navigator up here, whatever you want to do. Now you're going to go to Control T or Command. Or you, or you could also go to Edit, Free, Transform. Now, hold Shift and Control, drag it out. So I don't know if these balls are exactly 100% spherical. So uh, I just use the arrow keys to try to get it, you know, exactly where I want it. And then you can kind of, uh, you know, drag it in. It doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to maintain the aspect ratio. Holding Shift is going to maintain the aspect ratio, so it's going to stay the same dimensions whereas you can see here it gets all distorted so but at this point like I said I'm not sure exactly how spherical they are so let's just uh, let's just drag it out to the edge but the trick here is to not go all the way to the edge you can see I'm leaving a little space here because that in my opinion is what gives it its natural feel that that's hard to replicate that natural edge where it's going around to the other side of a glass ball that's it's a little that's a tricky effect there so so there I'd say leave about that much space all the way around now let's do an uh, oh okay so now we're gonna go hold control I'm not sure how to do this without a hotkey this is just what I'm so used to this um, hold control and click or command and click on the image next to the layer that's going to select the layer that you have so it's going to select around whatever's in that layer so now I go to select modify feather. I have five. Let's try ten pixels. I did another take of this, and five seemed a little a little low. So let's do ten. I'm going to do ten pixels. Boom. Now we're going to go Command or Control Shift I. That can be achieved also by select inverse. So now you have the outside selected. There you go. See that? Okay. Now what we're going to do is hit delete a few times. Maybe that, maybe too many. Boom. Okay. So now we've softened the edge of the selection. We might want to bring it out just a little bit here, like that. 
That's good. Okay. Let's try that. All right. So now we can turn this on and off. So now we have a selectable circle that's the exact size and feather that we want. That's why I like to do it on another layer here. So it's kind of like savable, copyable. And if you have a couple images to do, now you can just drag it into your other image. If you had another one up there, you just drag it in there. So, all right, next step. Make a new layer, drag it underneath your image layer. And this is just for, this is just makes it easier. Grab a color that isn't anything like the color of your image. So if you have a green image like this, green and brown, yellows, just get a, a bright red. Make sure nothing's selected. Make sure you're on the layer underneath your image and make sure you fill that with red. Now it's gonna make it really easy to see what you're doing next. So now go back to this layer, hold control or command, click and turn the layer off. Boom, little uh, icon here, little eye. You can turn the layer on and off. Now go to your main image layer. And now edit cut or command or control X. So now you can see exactly what you've cut out. That's why I like to do the red. Command V or control V. I just feel like most people are on Macs. I like Windows, but I keep saying command. Okay, so now you can see some red poking through. So that's why I like to have the red there. Now you can see because when you cut it, it it's not going to put it back exactly how you had it. But see how you can move it? Now you can see once the red disappears, you know you've gone far enough. There you go. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so that looks pretty much like what we had before, except now the image is directly editable. So you're going to do Command or Control T, hold Shift, go to the outer edges, not right here, right here. Make sure you have the curved little arrows there, and flip it around. That's 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 more or less it. I think that looks pretty good. I think that would fool the average onlooker um, you know you can go in mess around with it a little bit more make sure you don't have anything showing um, if there's anything you want to clone brush out any edges that aren't feeling right to you you know try it or try it again maybe feather it a little more if you have issues with that like get a little bit of a hard edge here you know so we can see that's from here so maybe we'll take the eraser tool here and bring the brush down and the hardness down and kind of smooth that out you know we want to go for the most natural look possible you don't want any hard hard edges okay so now I mean even what we could do is probably take that go to select modify feather again but maybe this time do like two pixels command or control shift I again just hit that boom okay there we go you can see the edge softens up a little bit there and there you have it I think that's a pretty uh, pretty easy pretty quick method to flip the image in a lens ball and uh, it looks it looks pretty natural so like I said remember the edge so we got a little red here this is why I do you know so you're just gonna have to play around see exactly you know play around with different feather settings and all of that but uh, you definitely want to make sure you don't select straight to the edge of the ball and then you can drag it out exactly how you want it yeah that's it so you know that's the basic idea play around from there I hope that helps guys um, it's the best I got at the moment, but uh, like I said, if you know a better way or if you have a, a way to improve on this or expand upon it, uh, let me know. So have uh, fun with your lens balls, happy photographing, and have a great day. <laughs>